Most insects are very tiny and most insects are brown, black, and kind of drab in color. This particular group are the exception where the vast majority have these brilliant colors and that's why they're often known as the metallic wood boring beetles or the jewel beetles. And that's the question is, is why are they colored this way? Hi, my name is Nathan Lord and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Entomology at LSU. Uh, and I am also the director of the Louisiana State Arthropod Museum uh, with the LSU Ag Center. Specifically, I study the evolution of color and vision in insects. Visual cues are very important and common in the animal world for signaling, for camouflage, for recognition, and uh, my research focuses on understanding this one particularly colorful group of beetles, the jewel beetles, and, and what is the coloration for? Is it is a warning defense? Are they communication channels for each other? Are they recognizing certain patterns in order to find mates? The first step is to understand how these pretty iridescent colors are produced, whether it's looking at the fine scale morphology on the, on the surface of the beetle that causes light to scatter in certain ways, or whether it's principles like uh, Bragg stacks that function kind of like a prism where they scatter light and produce these rainbow effects. We're trying to understand how these beetles achieve these colors based on their structures. One of the most destructive economically important pests in the United States for the last 20 years or so has been this beetle called the emerald ash borer. And they were first introduced into Michigan in 2002, and since then the emerald ash borer has spread very rapidly across the country and has been decimating our native ash trees. They have gotten down all the way into Louisiana. So in order to understand better how to make more effective traps to collect or survey for economically destructive insect pests, we have to understand first what colors they may be attracted to. When I was a little kid, I liked insects and I liked creepy crawlies like, like a lot of you know, young people do. I've got pictures of, of me at three years old with a butterfly net and I always liked the beetles, I think, because they were the hardiest and when I would collect them, I didn't destroy them as easily as you would. You tear up a butterfly's wings and dragonfly wings. I could catch a lot of beetles because there were a lot around and just the sheer diversity of, of forms and colors and armatures, whether it's horns on the head or spots or tufts of hair, the diversity of the, the physical appearance has always sort of captivated me and I was drawn to working on this very, very successful uh, group of insects. To learn more about the impressive research happening at the Lord Lab, head over to our website at twilatv.org. Still to come on Twyla, the Louisiana sugarcane harvest is wrapping up and we share some of the beautiful sights of this sweet crop. But first, podcast, podcast, get your podcast here. We have new ones coming right up. Stay with us.